This dish is called a hearts of palm tree salad and um, it used to be actor Jimmy Stewart's favorite salad but be careful when you fix this because it will be uh, it'll become a favorite of all your friends and it requires a little bit of work. Uh, it's simple ingredients but the assembly is all important. Um, start out with an avocado not too uh, soft, a little bit firm. Take a knife, cut it in half, remove the pit, and just take a spoon and go around the outside of the skin and put it face down. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some palm fronds. And the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna cut the avocado in half, cut it again and again, and take these and make them the leaves of the salad. Like that. Put the bottom ones first. Cut two more pieces. One on top. And another one on top. Figure uh, a half an avocado per salad. We take the uh, cantaloupe and we're going to make some leaves. So cut these really thin if you can. Do four of these. And one cantaloupe should do enough for about eight salads. And we just put these on top of the avocado. Like this. Very simple. And you can see how the salad is shaping up. Then you take one of your hearts of palm, and I like to use the, the uh, larger stalk as a better stalk. And cut this into maybe about four or five pieces. And this will act as the trunk of the tree. One of the best pictures I've ever seen in my life was on Jimmy Stewart's grand piano. And uh, when I first interviewed with him, he actually answered the door. And normally there's a major domo or a corporate secretary or an executive secretary. But he answered the door and he said, I'm with the bishop right now. Walk around my house and, and uh, I'll be with you in a second. So I walked to this piano and there was a picture about this big of him meeting the Pope. And the look on the Pope's face was incredible. It was like, oh my God, I'm meeting Jimmy Stewart. So uh, I, he, he snuck up behind me and he goes, look, he goes, he actually, he actually likes me. So I thought that was great. And, uh, People, my friends would say, what was it like working for him? And I, I would say, you know, it's like being in a movie every day, you know? He, he would answer the door, or he would shop for his own food. Uh, my first thing I would have to do is cook three pounds of bacon for his, his dog, Baron. And he would say, you know, uh, he likes it extra crispy. And uh, I, I always used to crack up every, every day. Uh, while I was cooking the bacon, he would watch CNN, and one of his favorite lines was, you know, I would have gone into politics, but I talked too slow. Uh, anyway, so, this is the salad he loved the most. Um, now that we have this done, you uh, take the, your alfalfa sprouts and you put it up at the top here. And you can do this uh, well in advance and do the alfalfa sprouts just when you're about to serve the salad. And then I use these Niçoise olives as coconuts. You take the coconuts and you put them wherever you can on the alfalfa sprouts. If you put them on the alfalfa sprouts properly, they won't fly around, or you know, if they do, you can tell your guests that uh, a fallen coconut is good luck. Um, anyway, this was his favorite salad, and I made this apple vinaigrette, and it's um, half and half. It's half apple vinegar and half uh, olive oil. You use a really good, fine, full-bodied, cold-pressed olive oil, and mix it. And don't put, it, put don't dress the dressing until your, your, your guests are seeing the salad first. And then walk around and just simply take the dressing and drizzle it all through the salad, like this. And you know, it doesn't take very much. It's, it's, not, it's not a very strong dressing, but you don't want to overpower it. And that's basically it. Very few ingredients. There's one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients. And then your uh, vinaigrette. And you're basically ready to eat. Uh, I would serve this with a little bit of uh, sweet bread or some French bread would be great. Uh, and uh, just make sure that the salad is cold.
Uh, that's, that's the most important thing. You might even want to uh, chill your dish before you uh, assemble the salad. This salad can be made in advance and you can take some wet paper towel, put it on top of it, put it in your refrigerator and serve it several hours later. That's, that's one of the best things about this salad. And presentation is all important. You eat with your eyes first. So, bon appetit.